team started out this season with singular goals to make it to the NCAA tournament. Dick, that business has been taken care of. Now it's time for the madness to begin in today's game between the Jackson State Tigers and the Xavier Musketeers. It's showtime, baby. Let's get the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Musketeers should be able to play a lot of bodies tonight, Dick, as they're highly favored on paper. But what are the keys for them to win? Tonight, the keys are pretty simple. First, play at your own tempo. We'll get into a run and gun game, baby. Second of all, reward your big man for working hard down low. Get him the ball, baby. If he has position, get the rock to him immediately. Thirdly, get busy battling for the boards. Winning teams always rebound well. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Number 22 handles the feed. Number 22 pump fakes. Looks at a three. Drains it. Looking to move it around the perimeter. They go into the low block. He makes a nice shot fake. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. The shooting guard receives the pass. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, gets the rejection. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and look at the crowd and look at the reaction. I tell the whole fans are going crazy. That's jubilation. Ten seconds showing on the shot clock. The shooting guard handles the pass. Gave it up. The small forward receives the ball. And Dick, they run out of time there. Hey, that defense is simply ferocious, Brad. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Down inside. Here's a drop step in the low block. Very key is to get good post position, and he does, and then he drops the step. And roll up. He'll visit the charity strike. First one is good. Second one is no good. He cleans the glass. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Number one is called for the foul. First personal foul. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. And up. Jackson State have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Great vision. Look at him. Head up. Looking for the foul. Defense breaks down again. Nobody rotates over from the help side. He keeps his dribble as they reset. For the bucket. Gets it to fall. That's a breakdown. That was driving close bananas. I'll be the loser here. Now trying to feed the low block. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Number one is feeling good. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting out a performance. Terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. Trying to feed the low block. He up fakes. Fakes the shot. Goes up for two. And he missed. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. 
and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Can't get the shot to go. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Inside and he tries a drop step defensively. Nice job. A uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Jackson State have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. The high screen. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Number 34 is whistled for the foul. Right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. Top of the circle, that's an ill-advised shot. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. Up fake. On the outside. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Doesn't go. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. a timeout. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. They're working around the perimeter. Tries for two. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. The ball goes out play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. 
Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. For the bucket, he's not getting himself in position for the good shot. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. One on one. Jumps into the defender. Contact causes the shot to come off. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. And one too many dribbles and a steal. For two. They still don't score. Working around the perimeter. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, before the game, the coaches told us their only worry was their team getting down too early. Now that this team has, the players are trying very hard not to panic and put it all together. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Picks off the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Looking for a good shot. Number one, he cashed in on the layup and gets the foul. He knew he was going to get fouled, Brad, but he took the hit like a man. Look at him sneering at the crowd. They won't like that one bit. Oh, oh Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. At the free throw line. He hits it. There's a double team waiting there. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Tries for two. In and out. Trying to draw the foul. Work it around the arc. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Contact on the shot attempt causes the misfire. Look at that spacing. Entry pass in the paint. That was nice. Both teams looking to get things going here. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. The skip pass is picked off. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. I tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. He puts it in with contact and all. <laughs> the
Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. Gave it up. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Off the rim and no good. And he'll kick it back outside. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. Two, perfectly executed. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charm. In the paint. Jumps in. Great play to take that to the basket. With the jump hook. And in and out. On the dribble. Gives it up. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. to get the D to bite. Those long arms trying to get him in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to buy him the ball. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> Gave it up. Entry pass in the paint. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Fakes a jumper. Here's a double team. High post screen. Tries for two. Had a momentary look from three point land. There's the pick. He shoots. Way off target. Bucket perfectly executed. Looking for a good shot on the dribble, gives it up, leans in. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. Nice move with the face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brown. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic lures. There's a high screen. Top of the circle. And Dick, no one can really find the touch from beyond the arc. Hey, this is one of those nights that no matter how open you are, you just can't put it in, baby. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He pulls the trigger. They're really losing confidence with their poor shooting at the time, Dick. Hey, nothing that a couple of fast break dunks could cure.
Number one picks up the foul. Fourth personal foul. Number 11 comes in for his first go around tonight. Dan. I'll tell you, the offense doesn't miss a beat when this guy comes in. Number 44 is going to the charity strike. He hits the first shot. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post player. Sets the screen for his teammate. Foul called off the pro hop. The defender was caught at the wrong place at the wrong time, Dick. Number four subs back out on the court. You'll see the D quickly readjust, Brad. Number 34 goes to the line for the first time. Makes his first. This is the second shot. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Outside jumper. Makes the shot. Rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Is this defense ever quick to recover? It's core cool conditioning, Brad. And he'll kick it back outside. He dials long distance. Looking for a good shot. And his shot rejected on the dribble, gives it up. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Pump fakes. Double team now, bad angle. Top of the circle, off the rim and no good. Gave it up. He goes with a jump hook. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. On the dribble, gives it up. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Way off target. Gave it up. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. At the end of the first half, the Tigers are ahead by 19. This has been a good one so far, folks. Dick, what's your take as the highlight of the half? This trifecta was the key for me, Brad. It opened up the game in the first half. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep up the outside shooting in the second. Well, Dick, let's see what's in store for us here in the second half. Xavier is not hitting the boards with any kind of efficiency in the first half. I agree, partner. They're getting beat to the punch almost every time. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. On the dribble, gives it up. For two, can't get the shot to go. Ball 
Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Down he goes, and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. The small forward takes the feed from three point range. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Dumps it in. Boy, terrible execution on offense. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And they come up with a steal. He telegraphed that pass. paint there's the trap I tell you he missed the post guy the post guy had the great angle was locking on a box working it around the perimeter tries for two he hits it Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He tries the three ball. Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Gave it up. The center with the ball. For the deuce. Perfectly executed. Goes out of bounds. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. The power forward takes the pass. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Side. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. For the bucket. I love this guy hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior.
Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Got it. The dribble gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Doesn't go. The center gets the pass for the bucket. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Can their defense get him back in the game, Dick? I'll tell you, it's going to be a long hike back, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. Time to pick up the defense here now. Blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. And a momentary look from three-point land. Blocks the shot. Number 34 has been negatively influenced by his play and the events which have unfolded here. Well, he knows he's not getting it done. And emotionally, he's bringing them down. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? He looks for the bomb. And he can't hit the shot. The ball comes back out from the post and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. There's the screen up on top. Knocks it down. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect of so saying, you know what, let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. They're definitely having some fun out there. They'll work it around the arc. Went away from the post and goes the other way. Pushing that basketball. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. This one's turning into a big blowout, baby. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. For two. I love this guy, Hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? Takes the pass in the paint. They move it into the front court. Dump it inside. He wants a three. Off the rim and no good. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And the ball goes out of play. 
All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, two sets of emotions on the sidelines so far. One team is saying keep attacking, keep up the pace, while the other team, well, they're just looking for an answer. Can they find it, guys, before it's too late? Ten on the shot clock. He shoots from the top of the key. Good. Rips him clean. And again, they look to run. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> Up and inside. Pushing that basketball. Help one another. Communicate. And back they come the other way. Number 24 is pounded on his way up. Look at that celebration. He is pumped. He's trying to pump up the fans, too. He's saying, hey, come along for the ride. And he's getting what he wants. This is what I love to see. The energy, the emotion, and passion, baby. He hits the first shot. Second shot is no good. And that free throw line has really not been friendly for them tonight, Dick. Yeah, they just haven't looked comfortable from there. There's a double team waiting there. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Look at that spacing. Number five draws the personal. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. And look at the facial expression. Gets the first. Xavier is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Gets two at the charity strike. The shooting guard gets the ball. Picks off the lazy pass. Now they work it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. move with a face up. I tell you one thing, Brown, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He shoots from the top of the circle. He pulls down the board. He'll kick it back outside. Gave it up. Goes up for two. They still don't score. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. And now they'll bring it up. Number five makes it, scores it, and he's fouled. So, and one opportunity here. He steps up to the line. Sinks it. That's a club zero run.
direction we go. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Turnover City now will always really negate any offense. On the outside. For the deuce. He's just not seeing the floor, Dick. He doesn't want to, Brad. He wants to score, and I'll tell you, that ain't good for team morale, baby. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really does do a great job of sealing him off. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Here's a double team. This one might go down to the final buzzer. Hey, down the stretch, there are so many factors that could become the difference maker. Turnovers, missed free throws, rebounded. I wonder what it'll come down to in this game. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. In the paint. Jump hook from the low post. Rims out. For two. Can't get the shot to drop. Tries for two. In and out. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that I really it's tough to rely on the ball. Takes the pass in the paint. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Working it around the perimeter. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Goes up for two. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brian Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. Aaron's right about that. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. A defensive stop will definitely get the fans out of their seats. For the deuce, and in and out. Set that screen away. Working around the perimeter. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super, he really is. Looking for a good shot. Double team now, bad angle. He launches the bomb. Off the rim and no good. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Puts it on the floor and up and under. He has taken his team completely out of this game. These young guys have to remember to let the game come to you. Don't force the action. Great defense. From right of the circle. Offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. He went for the steal in the post and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I tell you one thing, what a poor job defensively. He gambled. They 
They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Only one basket away from the crowd being absolutely thrilled. He shoots from outside. Yes. Six points is the difference. Wow, do they need a basket badly, Brad? Momentum will decide it. In the paint. He goes with a baby hook. And he missed. On the dribble, gives it up. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind me because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He is going to the line. Hits the first shot. Makes the foul shot. Time out on the floor. We'll have a little break in the action here, partner, while both teams talk it over. surprised that they changed things up a little bit, Brad. That brings the lead to eight points, Dick. But eight points doesn't secure a win at this point, Brad. From the top of the key. If they can get off some good shots and easy buckets, they might turn around this awful stretch of shooting for them, Brad. Easier said than done, though, right now, Dick. And the ball goes out of bounds. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Now the kick out. He fouled him. As we see the game situation here. Hey, Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrow is pointing. All factors that are important in close games. Rims off. Pulls down the board. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Nobody likes this part of the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. He goes to the line. It's good. He hits his second. Is a three. Rims out. Up and inside. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The Musketeers have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. From a different area, Cole. Off the rim and no good. He just launches it. The ball goes out of play. 
There's the turnover situation for the half day. I'd say the lower the number, the better off your team will be. With too many turnovers, the likelihood of you playing in a game at the end drops significantly. Well, Dick, sometimes statistics lie, but in this tournament game, I don't think they do. The better team won, and they're going on. Well, I tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. The Musketeers played exactly the type of game they need to get past their first-round opponent. Mr. Nestler, if they can execute the way they did today, are you kidding me? Nobody will stop them heading into the second round. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nestler saying so long.